How's it going everybody? Martin Belver Auto Spa and we got another new Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic product for you all. So this is the Hybrid Ceramic Tire Shine um, added to the Hybrid Ceramic family. Now I don't have the Hybrid Ceramic Wax uh, Spray or the Hybrid Ceramic Detailer um, but I do have, which I have reviewed here, the Hybrid Ceramic Trim Restore, Hybrid Ceramic Liquid Wax, Hybrid Ceramic Pre-Wax Prep, and Hybrid Ceramic Wash and Wax. All excellent products. I really do like uh, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic line. So now they got the Hybrid Ceramic Tire Shine. Um, this looks like it's going to be something to really kind of outpace Meguiar's Endurance Gel. Now, uh, I don't know if this is a water-based product or solvent-based. I'm assuming water-based. A lot of these ceramic products are water-based. Um, but they have some surprising uh, longevity and durability because of the ceramic um, and in some cases graphene added into them makes them more durable makes them more water repellent um, and it does it's supposed to give like a nice satin shine so we're gonna really see how this looks uh, I'm gonna put it on uh, the tires of my wife's car and um, if you're watching this at a later date you can go ahead and ask how it's doing I'll let you know now her car stays parked outside uh, she drives it all the time so I expect about a month out of it. Um, if I get a month, I'll be happy. Longer than a month, I'll I'll be really surprised. But a month, I'll be I'll be pretty happy. Now, this product uh, retails for about fifteen dollars. It is on Amazon. There'll be a link below to it if you're interested in purchasing it. It should pop up on retail shelves in the coming months. But this did this is brand new. It just came out. So comes in a nice purple bottle. Now Meguiar's likes to with their hybrid ceramic line all these crazy colors, which are really eye catching. The liquid itself is white. Same with all these. The liquid's white, but they they got a cool color on the bottle. The hybrid ceramic spray is blue, and the uh, hybrid ceramic um, detail spray is green. Now, if we take a look at the back here, we've got instructions: shake well using clean, dry tires. I did just clean the crap out of all these tires. Um, they're nice and clean. Spray an even coat directly on the tires and let if, and let itself spread or move any overspray from wheels. Uh, for medium shine, spray on tires and spread with an applicator. Uh, this product sprays out white but turns clear once it has set and bonded to the tire. Uh, it says do not use motorcycles, bicycles, anything with two wheels. Um, now, because these aren't super meaty truck tires, I'm not going to spray it directly on the tires. I'm going to spray it directly on the applicator. Now let me grab my applicator if I can find it. It's in here somewhere. Okay, so these are the applicators I really enjoy using. These are hex grip applicators. Um, I used this once for Adams VRT, but it's getting repurposed now for Meguiar's. Um, I haven't used this in like over a year, but I've got a bunch of these. So they come in different brands. I think Adams made them popular because uh, Adams usually includes it with their products. Uh, but they're really nice. They're very durable. They don't uh, fall apart. Easy to grip. Keep your hands clean and apply to the tire. So we'll be using this applicator. Um, but yeah, let's get over to the tire and uh, get it applied, see how it looks. I'm really looking forward to uh, this product and seeing how it looks on the tire. I don't, I, I'm going for a satin shine, by the way. I don't care for high gloss. Um, and if you want high gloss, I know their endurance gel is great for that because it's solvent based, but I believe this is water based. But let's get over there and see how it is. So as you can see here, we got a nice clean dry tire. Let's go ahead and shake this bottle up. Again, I like to spray directly on the applicator. If you want to spray on the tire, you can go ahead. Does this spray out nice? It's not a super thick gel formula. It is a little thick though, which is good. And again, this tire, oh that's a little dirty. <laughs> that's alright. Uh, so we'll get some on here. And just go ahead and work it in. It's as easy as that. Now, I'm gonna give this a few minutes to uh, dry off, um, and then we'll come back and see how it looks, because uh, it is still a little wet, so it's gonna take a few minutes to dry, but then we'll check it, out. check it out. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I got it applied to all the other tires. I put air in one of the tires, too, because it's low, but you can see um, it looks a lot better. Now it's leveled out, it's starting to dry. So I would give this stuff, honestly, it's cold right now, probably 30 minutes to an hour to dry. Um, but if you need to drive immediately, you can use a microfiber towel and you can wipe off the excess so it doesn't sling. But here's a tire in the full sunlight. You can really get a good look at it, how it looks. So you get that nice satin sheen. It looks really nice. So yeah, this stuff's pretty good. Um, pretty happy with how it looks. So we'll see how it lasts. Uh, let's go in for the final thoughts. 
All right, so Meguiar's uh, Hybrid Ceramic Tire Shine. Um, not much to say about it. I do like how it's a thinner consistency. Um, I used a different uh, ceramic tire shine that came out recently, Griot's. It's kind of thicker, so it didn't spray out so easily, uh, but it's still easy to apply. Um, so I would say, you know, durability is still I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I expect a month, but if it lasts a month, I would say, you know, this is definitely right up there with Adam's Graphene Tire Dressing, uh, Hybrid Solutions, Acrylic Graphene Tire Dressing, um, Griot's is still up in the air because I haven't really tested that out long term yet. Um, and then even a Car Pro's, what do they call it, Dark Side, which that's not a ceramic tire dressing, but it is still a very pretty good tire dressing. Uh, but this is one that's going to be available retail shelves. It's going to be under 20 bucks. So uh, this is going to be right there with uh, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions as uh, one of the bang for your buck products. So pretty good deal. Um, pretty good product overall. Nice aroma. Um, and yeah, you can do more layers and you can apply it thicker to get that high gloss, but you definitely want to make sure you give it time to dry before you go driving so it doesn't sling. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it is. Just comment below if it's in the future. And please, please, for the love of God, look at the date of this video that it's uploaded. Don't ask two days later asking how it's holding up because obviously it's still going to be there. <laughs> so wait, wait at least a week, if not more, um, and comment below. And after a while, I'll, I'll go ahead and post an update in the comments as well. But I appreciate you all watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this stuff. Uh, let me know if there's any other like ceramic or graphene tire shines out there that you want me to test out. And I'll take a look at it. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you all watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Keep them clean. Have a good one. See you in the next video.